Hey everybody, um, I'm back again. Um, I'm going to give you my thoughts on uh, Ring of Honor Undeniable, which is the fourth pay-per-view. Um, it probably aired about a week ago. I saw it earlier this week. Um, yeah, well basically, I, it didn't really have the whole aura and spectacle that like Driven and um, Man Up had. And like, to be fair, I'm, I'm still quite new to Ring of Honor. I mean, I only like really been fully paying attention to it till like just before Respect is earned, because like I saw a few matches on the net, and um, there was a few like videoed for me off the Wrestling Channel, um, which I can't really remember now. But um, yeah, um, it was an okay pay per view, but it like didn't blow me away. But then like, again, like, how could you keep this whole, like, train of, um, film pay-per-views, one after the other? Um, uh, it started off with, like, Age of the Fall, Tyler Black and, um, Jimmy Jacobs against, uh, Ruckus and Jack Evans. And, like, it was, like, quite good the way it opened and that. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't really, it was an alright opener and stuff, but... It's just a bit of a nothing match, really, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it came came across all right, I suppose. And then there was um, Hay Daisy Hayes and uh, Sarah Del Rey. That's it. Um, yeah, this was another nothing match, really. It more like was a backdrop to um, Claudio and Larry Sweeney and Chris Hero's thing. And then it quickly came into Chris Hero and Brian Danielson, which was a bit confusing that like they wouldn't like let Castelloni take on Hero, but Danielson took on Hero. <laughs> anyway, this is quite a cool match. Um, I'm not sure what was missing from this. Um, I don't know they were like doing their thing, you know, and um, it was going okay. Um, basically, like. Heroes taking the Mickey out of Danielson, right, for his gammy eye and that, and I thought that was quite funny. And like, it gets Hero over as a heel and that, and um, but Danielson turned it around and he won by like some kind of knockout. And I don't know, that, that confused me a bit. It just seemed a bit sudden. I think like these guys could have a real better match, like if they like had more time and stuff. But there you go, um, yeah, Larry Sweeney's great heel manager, I like him a lot, um, yeah, he's just a verbal diarrhea man basically, isn't he? Um, yeah, then it was a six man tag, I think, um, yeah, the Hangman Free, Delirious, um, against Delirious, uh, Steen and Generico, um, this was quite a fun match, I thought, but once again, like, it was too short. I thought the first hour of this pay-per-view was, like, pretty rushed, to be honest. And, it's like, I don't know, I think it could have been paced a lot better. But uh, Kevin Steen was doing some good stuff in it. And, um, yeah, it was just another alright match, really. And then, um, I think it was, uh... Air, Austin Aries and Roderick Strong and this was like probably by far the match of the night um, yeah, I thought it was fucking wicked like lots of back and forth action and close calls and like just hard hitting and <coughs> yeah it just it, just, it was probably like the most satisfying match of the night really maybe the only purely satisfying match of the night when with like what you come to expect from Ring of Honor and that but yeah um, it was great like the finish was excellent really well executed then there was a tag match of Briscoes against Rocky Romero and Dave Richards um, this was like what you come to expect from like the Briscoes really um, just a kind of just a great solid tag match like with um, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what to say to be honest. It was just like really good, just a pretty good match. Like, 
and like probably the second best match of the night. Um, and then there was like McGuinness's title win against Takeshi Morishima. This wasn't nowhere near as good as their match like in the Tokyo. Um, yeah, like McGuinness literally just went for the lariat fucking millions of times. And I thought that brought out brought less of a drama to it. Although you could tell it was like quite an emotional match, like with the crowd into it and the build up was like real good and that as it was like McGuinness's chance. Um but yeah. It was alright match and I suppose it's a feel good ending at the pay per view that McGuinness finally lift it. And uh yeah. That was the pay per view, so it was okay. Um, but like nowhere near on a bar of like driven a man up. I mean, for me, the fav my favourite one so far is driven. Um, cause I just yeah, it's just my favourite. Um, yeah, but I also recently I like, actually got some Ring of Honor DVDs. Um, I've seen this one. Like it sounds like the first Ring of Honor match I saw on it, like which is McGuinness versus Danielson for the like pure and world unification match and that is a fucking classic and it may even be better than their driven match and has an amazing match of Aries and Strong versus the Briscoes and like it's just I just think this is quite an awesome card to be honest and I think it's worth checking out I also got 5th year festival in New York and yet to watch this um yeah it sounds like and good matches, Mish Morishima and Samoa Joe. Looking forward to seeing that. And um, recently I got this best of CM Punk in Full Impact Pro, and this was in fucking Woolworths in England for five for four pound ninety nine. Yeah, and uh, it's a surprise to see it. And this has loads of great matches, including his like street fight with Homicide, where they go in the strip club and that. And, and it also has CM Punk against Brian Danielson. That's fucking amazing. Anyway, that's my thoughts. Um, yeah, I'll see you soon. May do another video in a bit. Bye.